So when we were driving here tonight, I see this box on the side of the road. And I say to the driver, stop, stop. The driver goes, what? And I said, I saw something on the side of the road. He says, okay, so we go back. And there's a case. This is inside the case. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I've never seen a guitar like this before. I'm thinking, somebody in Germany is of a guitar ability is drinking good vodka. <laughs> and watching a Pinocchio movie at the same time. <laughs> or thinking of animals like elephants or something. But uh, no, serious, it's called a harp guitar. And uh, it's actually of European descent back in the 1800s. Uh, and it was made to go with orchestras. But uh, the instrument's very fussy, has a mind of its own. So the orchestra pushed it out of the band. <laughs> and the instrument kind of disappeared. But in the 70s, uh, a man of Michael Hedges and Stephen Bennett have, have resurfaced this instrument. So a whole bunch of us now are trying to, uh, well, play it. And uh, not too long ago, I had a performance with really bad nails. And it was a very bad performance, but we had the video shoot booked. So we posted it on YouTube, and it got lots of views, like near 1 million views. And I'm going, how can that be? It's a bad performance. <laughs> What about my good performances? Ten views? <laughs> yeah. Where is not fear? So this was funny because it led to a call from Stephen Bennett. And he's like the, the foremost major harp guitar player right now. So when I got the call from Stephen Bennett, to you that means nothing, but that's like Madonna climbing. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Bennett? <laughs> Tongue tied. And then he says, so Don, we really think you have a great direction in harp guitar. I'm going, is he kidding me or what? And, and he said, so we'd like to invite you to our harp guitar gathering. And I'm going, harp guitar gathering? <laughs> you mean like a festival? <laughs> no, nope. gathering. We got the guitar, so. Like a bunch of concerts? No, nope. gathering. Like kumbaya? Kind of... <laughs> no, gathering. And I went, okay, what's gathering? He said, well, it's just 60, 50 to 60 harp guitar players all around the world, and they get together and they just play harp guitar. So it might as well be kumbaya for harp guitars. But so he said that they have one concert, and he said, and we'd like you to do a 30-minute set for us. That's when the phone went silent. I knew one song for 30 minutes. Maybe like in the God of Vida, I could drag up the song. No, but what happened is uh, I went, I learned two songs, two more songs. But I got to uh, befriend uh, Stephen Bennett and stay with him. And uh, it's an amazing guy when you get to hang out with guys like that that will share their knowledge and stuff like that. So a real sweetheart of a man, and I decided I really had to write a song for him. Now, in this genre of fingerstyle, it's very common for you to see people want to write songs for everybody. So we got a song for Billy, song for Bobby, song for Betty, song for Johnny, song for everybody. <laughs> And also a song for Stephen, so I was not going to do a song for Stephen. But he lived on a street called Lady Lane. And I figured, aha, I can be smart. I will call this song Man from Lady Lane. <laughs> and then he moved. <laughs> so, uh, uh, once again, I'd really like to call, uh, like thank uh, Carlos and Gerald because I wouldn't be able to play this tonight if it wasn't possible for them to uh, fix this guitar. And they actually brought up like five toolboxes and brought them into the apartment. <laughs> and they were doing routers and doing all sorts of things. And they had like special magnifying glasses and they were doing pickups and everything. And they, uh, they did such a wonderful job. And you're going to hear the, the efforts of their, their work. So thank you guys once again. Thank you. 